Let's talk one-on-one. One -on -one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, that. You know, this is the house for the best, best intro song ever. Just want to <laughs> let y'all know that. But anyway, y'all need to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, Threads. Anywhere you can type in Boss Talk Podcast 101, you can find us. I guarantee you. But anyway, if you want to see our full length interviews or any visuals at all, you got to go sign up for our membership package how you can get to our membership package under any of our videos, including this one right down here in our description section. Click description, you see the first link that pops up is how you can join our membership. And it's only a little chump change, which y'all love us. Y'all love our content. So go ahead and show your support by signing up for a membership. Thank you in advance, and we love you. Man, listen, man. We got a guy here today. He don't really need no introduction, man. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, man. Um, and I couldn't come up here without getting this story, man. This historian is here today, man. <laughs> really gonna put it down, you know what I'm saying, man? AK from Do or Die. You already do know you want to ride? In the backseat of a caddy. Pop it up <laughs> or do or die. Listen, man. Hey, man. That song, thank you so much, man. Thank you guys, man. Y'all hell of a group, man. Hell of a guys, bro. Thank like you. I said, Midwest man, stand up. This guy right here, man, you showed us some great time and a lot more people. I'm we're gonna get into that. Like Listen. it's a lot of stuff that you guys done and influenced, man. Influence yeah. is something else, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys influenced a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it the way we do it, man. Mr. Jamaica, let's go in. Yeah, because that's the music guy over there. <laughs> I'm more of a personal, mental, wanna know know you as a person. Okay. So you were born and raised here in Chicago? Born and raised in Chicago. What in part? Place. West side of Chicago. You and I know that's the best yeah. side. Said that's the best side. Yeah. Why people always that rhymes. West side or best side? <laughs> it's like, in the rhyme, don't it? it goes together. <laughs> like really. So were you raised with your mom and your dad? I was raised with my mom's. My stepfather step uh, kicked in, but actually, I was raised raised with my great grandmother and grandfather on my father's side. Oh, yeah. So that's who you live with. A difference, yeah. <laughs> great grandfather, not even grandfather. Great, great grandfather, and gran great grandmother, and great. A green grandmother. So you have longevity yeah, in that family. Yeah, yeah. Dang. So you have a bless. Yes. You, ooh. Yes. Wisdom. So how comes you were raised with them and not mom and dad? Um, well, they were my, young. My mom's was there. My mom's was there. You know. Okay. Um, and it was a lot of, I should say, balance, being amongst the older crowd. Mm. Yeah, you know the older crowd, which is grandmother and great grandmother. On the father's side, though, I never, you know, knew my mother on my. Uh, my my mother's mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But she was living. You just yeah. didn't know her. I just didn't know. Her. Okay. Um. And your dad. Where was your dad during this time? Uh. You know, he, Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I knew. Him. Okay. You know, I, I I I knew him. He came came in and out of my life. You know, mm -hmm. But uh, came when it was important. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. But I had a stepfather who uh, drew gifts out of me. Mm. Yeah, uh, my first. Love was gymnastics. He drew that out of me. You can do all them tumbling yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. Wow. Yeah, that was my first love. So he, you know, we flipped at the Bulls Stadium. You know, he was just different. But <laughs> hold on. But different. back in the day, as a male black gymnast, right? Yeah. Trying to, how did you ever get teased? No. How come? Because, because my father, my father was a pillow of the of the community. Uh -huh. So by him being a pillar of the community, what he did, people followed. Oh. You know, so he built this gymnastic team that we used to go places and tumble. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when did you fall out of love with that? When uh, you found the music? When I found, but before the music, it was footwear. You know, Chicago is big on hip, uh, hip house. Sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's this thing called we they call it footwork. Mm. So we used to, I used to go to certain. Uh, places and areas, man, and do footworking. That's and, a dance. You know, battle, yeah. We used to battle okay. for money. Yeah. Were you <laughs> any good? Oh, I was the best. Was it like house? No. <laughs> not house music. It, we, they play house. Play music, house they music. Call it hip house music, you know. But uh, you shut it down, man. I was the best. The best. I was the best. They'll tell you. You can still do it. Well, you know, I, I <laughs> you know, I pop lock, so you know, yeah. I get it. I, I might do me and yeah. me and KLC from uh, No Limit. Yeah. I just tell him, man, don't try to windmill or nothing, because I spin and stop, spin and stop, spin and stop. 
You remember that? You know the real hip hoppers know. And I bring a piece of cardboard with me. Mm. You gonna have to show me. <laughs> and I might have a scully on the spin. I don't know if I'm gonna get on my head, but I'm gonna be prepared to. Because Lil Earl the other day was talking about footwork when y'all were talking about, but it was y'all were talking Memphis. about Memphis. Memphis got something they do Memphis too. Footwork That's footwork. No, it's different. To it's, it, no, it's different. They call it. They call it Memphis footwork. Juking or something like Juking, that. Juking, yeah. Right. Sure do. Yeah, so. Yeah. So your footwork different. Is all is it like step? No. I wanna know what step. I wanna know what his footwork oh, it's, looks it's like. It's a lot of moving. It's a lot I of energy. It gets a lot of energy. Look they still do it today? Oh, man, they're getting paid for it now. I'm talking about big time paid for it now. Really? Yeah. You're gonna have me Googling this trying yeah, to figure out what Chicago it it's called footwork. Footwork, yeah, definitely look it up. I promise you, they getting paid big time for it now. Mm. Back in my days, I was just going from club to club, <laughs> battling for the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. So you have siblings? Brothers, uh, sisters? It, it's, it's nine of us. Four girls, five boys, two passed away. Mm. Where yeah. do you fall in the nine? I'm eighth child. Oh, so you almost like, so you are you the last boy? Yeah. I'm the, I'm, no, I'm second to the last boy. Second to the last yeah. boy. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Big family. So how did it feel growing up in such a big family? We was, we was all uh, active. All my sisters, they all won like trophies for pump pump cheerleading. Mm. My brothers uh, won trophies for shooting pool and things of that nature. So everybody was always active. So you had a well structured family. Yeah, like, Nobody got overlooked because you know with a big family, somebody, somebody get over <laughs> right get overlooked or who was the quiet? Usually the quiet one. The quiet one yeah. would sit to the side, and then the louder one is the ones that get all the attention and whatever. So you didn't have any of that. No, everybody was doing something. Uh, my brother who passed away in '96 was was on his way to the NBA. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So. Uh, you know these streets, but these streets will grab you. Mm -hmm. You know, and when uh, some the streets show you something different, if you go for it, you know that's just the devil saying. Like, and that's what happened to him. Yeah, dang, it's crazy, right? See, and I was just about to ask you because Chicago. When people think about Chicago, you had to think about the food, the scenery, and all. But think about the gangs and all of that. So mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out with nine kids, did any of them succumb to the streets? Oh, definitely. Um, <coughs> all, I mean, all the boys other than me. <laughs> really? You know, I was paying attention to them. Mm -hmm. You know, and they was you know they they wrongs I was paying attention to they rights I was paying attention to mm -hmm. so they was you no know, they was writing out a blueprint for me and didn't even know it didn't even know it yeah they didn't even have to tell you stay out of the street yeah, you just yeah. knew yeah not uh, to yeah but by, by having a uh, a relation a real close relationship with moms in in that form of fashion mm -hmm. whatever she said I stood by it mm. yeah because I knew uh, she been through it already something something within me. Say, man, she didn't been through it already. And she never it. broke it down and told you the stuff that she been through. She didn't have to. Mm. You can see it in her. Mm. You know, you know, you uh, don't get your ear, ears pierced. I ain't even asked her why. Really, you yeah. were one of those kids. I was one of those kids. Don't put no tattoos on. I ain't even asked her why. So you don't wow. have no tattoos, so no I, nothing. After I got up my age, yeah, <laughs> you would have had to find something that was meaningful <laughs> if I was gonna do it because I felt like I was going against her rules. What did you get? Uh, Psalms ninety one. Okay. And, um, Psalms ninety one and the Falcon. A okay. thousand may fall to the left, ten thousand may Ooh. fall to the right, but you will fall now. Mm. Yeah. That's so, dope. Protection. Protection. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So um, I always ask, I know that you said your dad was there every now and again, mm -hmm. but do you think looking back on your life now, because when you're a child, you don't ever see this, but mm -hmm. as you get older and have kids of your own, you might see because he wasn't there. I know you had the foundation of your great grandparents, mm -hmm. but because your father was not there, do you feel like that affected you anyhow? Yeah. How? Because um, it was certain it was certain times and places I needed them, you know, to ask questions. I needed to be able to ask questions that, you know, only, only your father can answer, you know. And um, uh, the fact that, that he wasn't there when I, when once I got older and uh, moved forward, I said, oh, okay, he was going through something. Because mm -hmm. I'm going through it. Mm. <laughs> you know? And you can understand. So I can understand. I can truly understand, you know, so... Uh, I had to forgive myself first and then. And then forgive him. Yeah. 
for not being there. Yeah. And then once you get old enough dealing with females and relationships, mm-hmm. you realize, because people are always like, until you're put in that situation, I know that's your mom mm-hmm. and that's your family, mm-hmm. but you don't see certain things unless you're that man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now as you got older and being in relationships, you understand why sometimes it don't work or sometimes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, um, relationship, sometimes we say it like, if you remove uh, self self, and remove the emotions and things of that nature and understand that when you're in a relationship and if it, whatever it is, that the problem is not you or the other person. You both of all, both of y'all are against the problem. Mm-hmm. So that's the, that's the solution of it all. Your baggage and my baggage don't got nothing to do with how we attack it together. <laughs> really, really. Yeah. And it's your perspective. And if you can just con- understand that you both have a different perspective, it <laughs> might be coming towards the same answer, but just how you see it. And sometimes yeah. you end up arguing over such rubbish. The smallest. Thing. Right, and I realize that y'all are saying the same thing. Right. It's it's uh, yeah. communication is something else. Yeah, it's big. It's big value. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> now you get older. So tell me, speak to the younger you, right now in the camera. Speak mm-hmm. to the younger you who what father wasn't there during certain times um, that you needed him. Mm-hmm. Speak to that child out there who going through situations now trying to face decisions as a child, mm-hmm. but have to deal with it as an adult type of person, but they're still a child. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How can they tackle all of that and still be able to remain a child and not say, okay, skip this section and I'm now a man, which you're really not, because you're mentally, you're not. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the younger me, I will always tell them to keep God first. That's the first thing. Second thing is, is that Put everything in perspective, write it down and make it plain. Mm. Once you write it down and make it plain, put your faith on it, but put your actions behind it. And once you put your actions behind it, you'll manifest anything. Nothing is impossible. Mm. That's what I'd be saying to the younger me. Wow. Because mm. yeah. you didn't feel that way when you were younger. You felt like. Yeah, I had to find that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to find that. That's good. I like that. Wow. So. Man, the music, man, uh, we're going to get into it a little bit. Like, you guys, when I first seen y'all, man, y'all was on the come up, man. Uh, y'all wasn't playing no games. I got to ask you about Twister, though. It seemed like y'all was so closely knitted, mm-hmm. you know, up front. Like, how did you guys even, how did y'all even link? Uh, we, 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 we all from the west side. Y'all all from the we west side. From the same area on the west side. Give me the story. Yeah. Like, how did y'all, y'all just use, how did y'all, how did, did y'all come to music like around the same time and everything? Well, Twist was already in it. His name was Tongue Twist at the time. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> he was already in Rightfully so. Yeah, Tongue you know, Twist. And, um, I used to be on the block with the guys and we, um, we had a, a Astro band with Billy's on it, listening to Twister music, you know. So I'm like, oh man. The Astro Vans were crazy. That's what you understand what that nigga just said. <laughs> See, you gotta be yeah. tapped in to understand what the Astro Van thing. I mean, niggas had Astro Van yeah. and they'll put some speakers in that hole. Oh, and when we come oh, through, man. we gonna try to blow the back one yeah. out that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, in that order. In that, in that order. order. It, 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 it was that one and yeah. it was the Suzuki sidekick yes, and it was yes, the sir. that little old S ten. Yeah. You remember them? Yeah, I it, it, either way, we gonna come through and we gonna try to outdo yeah. one another. Yeah. yeah. See, that's how yeah. boss talk go. I'm yeah. throwing with man. But it's so yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so crazy that you're from Texas and he's out here it in Chicago, matter. but it's still the yeah. same. It's the same old yeah, two it's still that's same. crazy. But the, yeah, but the, but that van was different because it had more room in it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm looking at the nigga in the van like, okay, I know when I come up with these 218s and the cutlass, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to be careful for that nigga right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause you got the damn Astro yeah. van and it got them lights in it and this thing, for the, it's gonna blow. Yeah. And he is gonna be trembling the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, man. man. So, so y'all had it decked out. Yeah, we, man, it, it was one of my friend's van. I just used to ride, I ride was with him. It. Yeah, that was cool. You know, but listening to the music and listening to Twist, I'm like, oh, okay, this this Twister, huh? And to start taking music serious and seeing them, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm seeing them now. So I feel like that's a part of manifestation. When you begin to think about something, 
and you begin to get in the mix of it and it become begin to come towards your way, yeah. that's part of manifestation. It's I'm part like, of manifestation. I need to take writing serious. Wow. You know? So so what when y'all first how did y'all all three come together? Uh you be low and what and, was the, uh, Nod, that's my brother. Nod, yeah. Yeah, Nod, me and Nod, brother. Y'all brother. B Low been a uh a friend of ours since teenage. Okay. You know, so we grew up together 13, 14 years old. Okay. So um uh, man and we we became serious about it. Writing music and just taking it serious. One of my cousins came through one day, he said, Hey man, what y'all wanna do? I said, You serious? He said, Yeah. Then he started putting money behind it. Wow. You know, I told him, I said, Man, if you put the money behind it, I'm gonna get out the streets. That's hard. Because now I don't have to deal with the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then then this here. Yeah. This year. yeah. Always, Always looking behind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that that took a lot away from That's me. That's big. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, it's hard for people to get out them streets, man. Oh, man. Like a person don't want to let it go. Yeah. It, it, and people don't realize it's a rush. Like yeah. when you, the man, <laughs> like, like I'm be honest with you. I thought I, I had a control problem. Like, I, nigga, I run the hood. Like, I'm, I'm that guy. Like, when you see me, mm. like, yeah, I got it. And you niggas yeah. know already yeah, I got it. it. And when I pull up, yeah. respect it. Yeah. And if you don't. I'm gonna make you respect it. I got I got things going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I got like a dog, the high pro glow. Mm. Everybody know I got it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and but they you, always say the main reason why people don't want to get out of the street is because they make more money in the street than they do when he it, goes that's, legal. That, well, it, it, it can be addictive. It can be so, addictive. Yeah, you know, making that type of money could be addictive. But, right. But the, the reputation, yeah. the power, yeah, is way more it. more yeah. intriguing. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. No. <laughs> they say, what a, what a man with power want? More power. That's mm -hmm. it. That's so it. when people see you, you got the nicest clothes. You yeah. drive the nicest car. Yeah. You, you, I yeah. really, I was too young to even think about how my entrepreneur stuff was messed <laughs> up. I might have a couple hundred thousand in the roof, a hundred thousand in the roof, and no car staying with my, well, no house staying with my mama with five, six cars in the yard. Mm -hmm. And because you don't know. Yeah, yeah, you 18, yeah. you don't know what you yeah. do with this money. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, for y'all out here, you was just like, okay, I'm gonna get out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back out in the streets. Yeah. I mean, what was going, that was the crack era. Yeah, that was definitely. That was the crack, crack era. era. Uh, that was, the reason I did get out too, another, well the big reason, the first reason I got out is because I made a, a, a bond with God saying. Come on now. God, if you can take me over here, um, I said, I remove all this. So Man. I, and, and he did it. I removed the cars. Man. I, I sold everything. So now here I am feeling like I have nothing, but I, now I got everything. Because now I done made this agreement with God, and now we on the same page. So I know that means I'm I'm on my way now. Damn. Because I done made an agreement with God. Man, you ain't got that. That's a vow in Ecclesiastics changed my life, yeah. man. So yeah. uh, listen, all I'm saying is I'm thinking about Grandma, I'm thinking about great grandma. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about great grandpa. Mm -hmm. Being raised like that would give you that type of a spirit. Mm -hmm. You better believe. Everybody it. can't think like that. They won't think like that. Yeah. It had to be something there to make you feel yeah. comfortable with the cha with, with the, the changeover. The change. yeah. mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I believe it. Yeah. Everybody don't have that. Yeah. Because you, and you right. Because that's the reason cats going coming out of jail still trying to have that old life back. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason they going back and forth. That's right. Yeah, they trying to get that old life back, and you can't get it. You can't get it yeah. back. I know a nigga I was locked up with, that nigga had a LTD. He thought that thing was still popping out. <laughs> <laughs> What's that LTD? <laughs> <laughs> you put that, that picture right there, nigga. You see the LTD when yeah. I get out, nigga. Yeah. That LTD, yeah. nigga. <laughs> that's what it is. I'm gonna go in. You don't know what LTD No. Yeah. It's a long, it's a Ford. Yeah. It is a long car. It can be four or two, though. And that thing oh, nice, man. Yeah. But it, if the AC blowing cold, because back then, you might or might not have some AC mm -hmm. in <laughs> If you see if the you weather down, it's a dead right. giveaway. Right. Yeah. Right. You may have to fix it. You, you raised the window down. Yeah. yeah. You right. Man. <laughs> this yeah. boss talk, man. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> man. You got me laughing. Don't think about it, man. That LDD I was well. I said, was raised down. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Back in the days, <laughs> yeah. they, they, hey, they'll laugh at you. Some nigga like, oh, that nigga hot in that car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Man, man, man so, so like, like when you get, 
when you guys basically, uh, y'all was ba basically coming up, like, what was the first thing that the song that made y'all feel like we got something? Oh, man. We had a song called No Love. No I love. still got the tape. Look out now. Cassette. It was called No Love, and the streets was planted. You know how you, you know, you walking down the streets and. Is that, you hear it. Is that the. That's No Love. Look out. So they playing it. Say that. That was a that was a reinsurance from God. Yeah, yeah. Saying the fact that you put that down, I, I got you. Man. I got you. That was that was a reinsurance. I'm getting emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so real. It was so real. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man. Like like when God say yeah, when He show you a yes yeah. like that, man. That it ain't nothing like it, bro. That, man, that that it it was like okay, what else are we doing now? How Man. old were you when you was going through all of this? Uh, I was in my early 20s. See? See, and that's a blessing to be able to tap in with that side at that young because yes. a lot of times people yeah. have to go through a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> to get that. To get yeah. and get older. Yeah. To yeah. get to that you point. You remember when I was in Rhode Island, we dropped our daughter off at Brown here mm -hmm. about a month ago and I met them young men in the mall. Right. Shout out to them young men that I met with all them tattoos in your face that y'all promised me if anything go down up there, y'all had my back, <laughs> niggas. Yeah. Okay, them niggas. One of them. On the I, side, I know what you're going to say. had a big old Bible. Mm. He had a Bible, not mm. a beeper, nigga, not a phone, not but a, a gun. Bible. Yeah. And he kept it on me. He said, I'm trying not to do wrong, man. Mm. I keep this Bible here. They know it, man. They be laughing at me. Mm. But I keep this Bible on me. I, don't, I read it. I try to figure it out. But he had it. And it wasn't no little one. It was one like <laughs> that whole <laughs> took up his whole side, nigga. <laughs> right. And I, I felt that nigga, man. Yeah. I said, yeah. man, you going to figure it out. Yeah, you definitely going to figure it out. He going to figure it out. He the, out of all of them, he, i never forget that young man. Because mm -hmm. of that Bible he had on him at the mall. Because you don't ever see this that. Ain't at the, this ain't, that's the first time I ever met somebody with a Bible on them on like that. Side. A big Bible. Yeah. Yeah. In his side, not in his pocket, down his belt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Where some people would have normally yeah. had a gun. Yes, but and he showed it to me. They let you know somebody planted a seed. Exactly. That's what I was getting at. Somebody planted exactly. a seed. Exactly. You know, and he knew, he, even though he was wavering, wavering, that seed was more a little more stronger. That's why he had that Bible. On Come, on, man. Yeah, Come on, man. Come on, man. I was just proud to see somebody because I talk that word. I teach the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. I can tell people about Genesis Revelation, but he was trying to get it out here in the free world. Yeah. He didn't have to bump his head like I did. He didn't have to go mm -hmm. over here and have to go through this situation. He had it on him. I don't know what he went through, but it couldn't have been, you know, he wasn't locked up or nothing. Mm -hmm. He just out here in the free world yeah. with a big old Bible on his left side instead of a big old pistol. Yeah. But you know, how many you know people, what I'm saying? You, know, you know how many people he touched just like he touched you mm -hmm. how many people he touched just by having that mm -hmm. who look at him and probably stereotype him and when they realize what it is that mm -hmm. he have mm -hmm. shocked out of their mind mm -hmm. man yeah that's true that's so true. so you basically man like i said you got it you figured it out early is what you're telling me yeah you figured it out this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna commit myself to this music career mm -hmm. and so as you're doing that do or die it becomes a thing where people. When did y'all do that song, man? That one that everybody loved, man. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, man, it was a man. B. Lo <laughs> one day walking into my mom's house, man. Me and B. Lo sat down for a minute because we had just got through jogging. I picked up a tape, put it in the radio. Play it. Say this, 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 no, this old school. To my radio. You ain't got to tell me. You know, hey, to the tape pop. <laughs> yeah, to the tape pop. <laughs> right. Push that play, and a song came on called Miz. Okay. Uh, David Oliver. I said, man, be like, we, we probably need to get the tracks to replay this. So we take it to the studio, have tracks to replay it. Uh, we start coming up with the hook. As we coming up with the hook, we was like, man, we need somebody to sing this. My childhood friend Johnny P. Who's singing on the hook of uh, Pope Pimp? Um, one of one of our mutual friends go say, "Man, we we gonna go get this singer." Now we don't even know it's Johnny. Okay. So we going to get this singer. I'm like, man, I hope this nigga can sing. And we get that Johnny walk out. I said, "Oh man," I said, "This is my childhood friend." Yeah. He said, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah." Johnny get in there. He sing. So what happened next day? We go downstairs. 
Uh, we were going to the flea market, a place called Flea Market. We going downstairs, Twister coming up, and I see him. I said, Twister, man, I want, I want you to get on this song. He said, what song? I said, it's, it's called Pope Pimp. He said, send it to me, man. I'll get on it. Send it to him? Yeah. How did he send it? Huh? He said, he said, send it to me, meaning, meaning, you know, you can't send it. That's what I'm trying to ask you. Are you saying send it to him as give it, send him a tape? A mail, yeah, 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 mail it, nigga, hand it to me, yeah. man, get, yeah. get it to me, yeah. get it to me, and we gonna get it done. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so as, but that's what he meant by send it to him. You know, back then, ain't want no emails. Nah, nothing, it wasn't none of that. But, man, he got it, man. He wrote his verse. We got up. He jumped in the truck. He he said his verse to us. I was like, damn. And he was like, man, I need like. Three or four more bars. He was. I said, "Well, just say P O P I M P." All of them. He said, "He said I'm finished." I said, "Let's go, man." He really did laid his verse. And the next thing you know, man, I went. I took Twist to go get his last check and got my mom's out of her car that she was driving for like four years. So Twist to get his last check where? Um, from a job he was working at the time. He working. Oh, Pope Pimp. No. Yeah, he was no, working. Yeah. Where was he working? Do you remember? I don't remember, but mm -hmm. it was in the suburb. It was in the suburb. You I took him over to the old factory yeah. building somewhere. Nigga, no, no sign on it. Yeah. Just. Yeah, I took him to get his last check, man. <laughs> and he walked back out of there like it's up. It's, it's up. On. Yeah, and it's been on ever since. That's, that's huge. That, that's what God do, man. That's beautiful, yeah. bro. Yeah. So, so when you when did when did when did that first time you heard it on the radio that hoe was jumping too? Cause that hoe coming every since day oh, one. Mixed and mastered. Mixed and mastered. Yeah. Look at my wife, yeah. nigga. Mixed and mastered. You. <laughs> she on it, man. <laughs> Look, it, the crazy. Now here's the crazy part. The radio station Chicago didn't want to play. They didn't want to play it. They didn't want to play it. Why? Period. Hating on the hating on the real players. Yeah, exactly. Hating on some so, youngsters trying to come up. Um. So happy, we get with rap a lot. Jay Prince, uh, and Jay, at this time, Jay Prince was over at Virgin. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And the, they so smart, they was being so smart over at Virgin, they said, man, look, this is what we gonna do. We not gonna give w, you know, the radio station, I don't even say the name, said the radio station, we not gonna give them the rights to Janet Jackson if they don't play Pope Pimp. What a strategy to use. Wait. What a strategy to use. And show sure enough, I'm riding Roosevelt coming coming across the bridge and I hear Bam, do you wanna ride? But I'm saying to myself, man, why I got this tape in? I'm thinking it's the tape. <laughs> you think it's the tape? Yeah. <laughs> I look down, it's it's the radio. Ooh. Once again, that was that was reassurance. That God said, I said, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. it. And it's going to do. So, how, you don't just meet Jay Prince. How do y'all have ties to get to Jay Prince at that time? Did y'all know him? Because I know Chicago loved Jay Prince and embraced the ghetto boys. Yeah. How did y'all link with him? How did y'all you know, make that connection? So, <laughs> uh, a show. Okay. Fifth Ward Juvenile Boys. Fifth Ward doing doing a show. Uh, I grab my mom's car. This this in the beginning of it. Grab my mom's car. We get in my mom's car. Shoot over to the place. Nobody in it. So Fifth Ward Juvenile Boys. It, no, didn't pack the place. Nobody in it. But still ain't yet. I said if if we I told the group if we finna perform, let's perform like it's a million of people in here. And that's what we did. Got on stage, performed like it was a million of people in the place. As we performed, Carlton Joshua from Rap a Lot handed us a card. Wow. Say here. Looked at the card, called him, told him to bring us down. Wow. We was going, we went back and forth with Rap a Lot probably like three times. The fourth time, they had to come find us with Pope Pimp. They had to come see, they had to come get you. With God reinsured. Wow. That was just God reassured. What, what was the conversation like when they when they said they wanted y'all to sign? You talked to Jay or did y'all? talked straight to Jay. Yeah, we talked straight to Jay. And Jay said, man, we want y'all to come join the Rap Alive yeah. family. Yeah. He didn't say it like that. Jay said, yeah, I want y'all to come yeah. join the Rap Alive family. I already know what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Y'all got the album, we got the hits, let's do it, man. You know, that's how it is. That's hard, man. man. So, so, you know. How did y'all feel? Y'all was excited? Oh man, past excited because you had the ghetto boys. That's it, boy. Scarface, like Ooh. man, and and just to see face listening to all face music and then being able to be a, a label mate. 
Man, come on, oh, man. That's a that's that's a, that's a cat dream, man. So, but that was just you and no, and your bro. It was you. It was just y'all three. Just us three. Yeah. Twister, he was already signed. Twister signed over to uh, Seawall. Uh, he did some, uh, with the company that we was dealing with with Pope Pimp. Yeah. He signed over to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And man, you know that's crazy. Did y'all ever come back together? Uh, yeah. To do, you know, to yeah, collect, because that was we, such a big song. Yeah, we work, we actually working right now on some Twitter. Awesome. Right now. Really? I got a new album out called Swimming with Sharks. Twister. You and who? Uh, me and Twister, we working right now. Really? Yeah, I got a solo album out right now called I uh, seen that. Sharks, yeah. So he on two of the joints, got two videos with it. And and um, I, I, let me say it, man. Me and uh, Chico B was talking last night, man. We were just texting back and forth, because it was, uh, that was my first time meeting him person to person, you know. Really? Face and, Man, we and man, that's enjoyed out each other company. And he was like, man, we need to work together. I was like, man, what? He was like, if I can assist you in anything, let me know. I'm like, let's work. Let's let's get work. Word. That nigga talented too. Very. I told him. I Listen, said, man, man. I said, boy, you got an ear. That nigga rapped on mm -hmm. Boss Talk 101 on these microphones, man. He don't know every pimp song, pimp C. Yeah. He, he like me. I'm a pimp yeah. C fan. That oh, nigga. Okay. Pimp boy, C. that nigga, <laughs> man, that nigga, he, me and him, we own it. You know, yeah. I'm Texas, so, yeah. boy, that nigga there, boy, hey, man, I am no, I, I was like, how this nigga away from D.C. and loving Pimp C like man, this, man? man he man. know his music, bro. Yeah, that boy knows his music. I said, boy, you got an ear for music, man. Yeah. I said, man, that, that's scary. Like, he was standing <laughs> on stage, man, and he was just going through the songs, but you could tell he knew the power that the, the artist possessed making that song because the way he was interested introducing it to the crowd I was like oh yeah he got an ear for music boy bad man like yeah. I say him and man like I said DC Young Fly man they all compliment yeah, each yeah, other yes, they and, and my boy Carlos Miller that's a whole boy thing. I be cutting up on this, <laughs> man, this <laughs> thing, we are, can you imagine me and this nigga boy I be on boy I be man. cutting up with them niggas man man, <laughs> man the whole food man I enjoyed they show <laughs> Them niggas crazy. Yeah, was man. that your first time seeing their show? That was my first time seeing it in, you know, in person live. Mm. Yeah, man, they got a unique way that they do it. Yeah, Nobody yeah. does it like Super them. Dope, man. Yeah. Super dope. I, okay, but like when you think about just the music, man, y'all being in the Midwest, man, people not really knowing y'all for music, man. Mm. How hard was it to get out from under that cloud? You know what I'm saying? Like this, you. I think crucial conflict. It wasn't many people from over here doing music like yeah. that, bro. Yeah, and they they and they, did y'all feel it? Yeah, you felt that. <laughs> you felt every bit of that. Them saying, oh, "Man, that, this ain't, that music don't come out of here. This this is a city of consumers." That's right. You know they were calling us consumers. Uh, we we straightened that out with all this music we put out. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you know, um, one thing that I love about God, He gonna connect you to the right people when it's time. So we once we was connected to Jay Prince and. They was connected to, um, I forgot who Crucial was with, but they was with a big company and it was with DJ Quick and all those guys. Oh, yeah? Them up. Yeah. So, you know, it, uh, the more music come out of here, uh, the more you could tell that they didn't understand what was here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you got your little Dirks now. You got oh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, King Louie. You, you, you got a bunch of them. You got a bunch of these guys. G Herbo. Like, you G got Herbo. All, you got all these young. So, that lets you know the city is built for music. Y'all proved them wrong. Them. Yeah, we proved them wrong. Proved them wrong. Like I said, the South was the same way. Like, yeah. proved them wrong, yeah. man. You, you know, know? What, was, what was so dope about the South, man? The South, when we was going down there, they was playing uh, their own music. For sure. That was so dope to me. And then by the time I get to Chicago, I'm sitting there saying, man, we heard that three months ago. <laughs> well, in the South. Yeah. They play their own music. That was, and, and, oh, man, I got to say it. And that's why I, I say, man, the powers that be, man, they come in and corrupt things, man. Mm -hmm. uh, because when the South played it, when, when, when cities play their own music, their own artists, man, that look good on the city. And I don't think that's they understand right. that. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You know, I got mad at, at us yeah. because of the, the we, we of the Houston-Dallas connect. And even the, the, even East Texas, like, they had this. They, they would sell the 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 real one, the real tape. Then they sell the screw tape, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we were killing the game with mm -hmm. that. I love the way the marketing strategy was with that. Even though I was buying both of them, you know what I'm saying. But they wanted to be like everybody else's scene. You know, they 
to that that crossover thing. But the South had something that where they were double dipping. They would you could sell her something <laughs> twice, nigga. Shit, I'm, I'm a hustler. Yeah, the double up real with me. You yeah. know, yes, yeah. <laughs> man. The triple up. Yeah. Think about it. Yes, sir. So if they did not look at everybody else, what they was doing and stay true to what they really was doing, mm -hmm. it was a cold lick. Yes, sir. That's real there. You know? That's real there. <laughs> hey, you, you ain't lying about that. It was that. a cold yeah. lick, yes, man. Sir. I'm like, but they want to be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And they start, you know, cause DJ Screw, he was screwing them tapes down, and then they was they was selling both. You mm -hmm. the other one, the real one, come out, and then you waiting on that Screw one. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to wait on that one. I'm gonna get yeah. both, right, you right, know. Right, right. I'm gonna, I might ride Screw, I might ride the, you know, the regular. Depend on how I feel. Just how I feel. Right. I had both of them in there though, yeah. you know, and I think they should have stuck with that for a little longer. Man, that would have made a difference. Yeah, you know, but when it get too good, till you start making moves that you don't have to necessarily make. That's it. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. So who else did? I mean, y'all had some, man, y'all had a litany of people up here. Not to mention R. Kelly was up here. Y'all had, man, listen, y'all had it going on for a minute, yeah. and the Bulls kept winning, nigga. Hey, man. That you hear me? Man, you talk about, <laughs> you talk about uh, sitting on the floor and saying Michael Jordan play. Ooh, different animal, man. It was different, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. What do you say to people that say that LeBron was better? Man, come on. They know what I'm they just saying. saying. They know that story, man. I'm old, so they ain't going to believe me. They ain't going to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they need to believe you, man. Every word you say, they need to believe you. <laughs> man, let me say, LeBron is in his, you know, he's in his own lane, man, just as well as Michael. But you put LeBron, but if LeBron was in back in those, man, that's too much pressure, man. It's too much pressure, ain't Mike it? Mike was getting knocked down. Oh, and, they, and, and he they still was fighting his way to that goal, man. man. Come on, man. Different animal, man. Different animal. Different animal altogether, yeah, man. You can't take nothing from LeBron, but when you talk, start talking about Mike, different animal, man. Bro, I was at a party last night and uh, listening to some music. I said, man, they up here, they going to play that R. Kelly. They play That's it. what I was asking. They that whole they jam, dear, that whole it. jam. God dang it. They played it. Play that motherfucker. Cause boy, yeah. <laughs> a lot of places stopped playing him. Yeah, a lot of people Say they played that whole man. That whole went in. You hear me? I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yeah. That whole went in. Yeah. Cause you can't come on. You can't. You can't. Look. They played it right after guy. Mm. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. Even though, don't go, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> they, look, you know what they've said though, right? Cause they they felt like uh, R. Kelly. Stole Aaron, Stole Aaron Hall's style. style. You know, a lot. that's a whole conversation. Boy, right? he perfected it, though. Man, if he did yeah, steal it, he look, perfected he took it. Took it to another level. I mean, but that's, ain't, that's how you build yourself. Bro. Taking pieces from here, taking pieces from there. Mm -hmm. pieces, that's how you build yourself. So yeah. how can you not build if you don't see nothing to mimic? It was a lot of people crying. You got to understand, man. Jive even had Joe over there crying about him being overshadowed. You know, I'm just going to be real, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joe was a bad dude. Yeah, but, but R. Kelly was man, a different man. type of beast. Yeah, I don't want to get into this. Hey, <laughs> hey, look. When you, I mean, when you talking about writing songs, this man was writing for Selena Dion. Michael but they say Jackson. he couldn't write. I can't never figure this part out, bro. What he doing? Remembering it and telling yeah. him? Go, go behind the mic. Hey, um, let me get into this. Uh, okay. Record this. Hold up. Mm. 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 Record this. Uh, that's what was going on, man. He was telling him. He was, man. He was super talented. Didn't need no paper. Punching it like punching yeah, in. Yeah, just punching in. Hard with it, though. Yeah. I, man, bro, we did two songs with R. Kelly on the, um, the self-titled D.O.D. album. Man, it's being in the studio watching like this. That nigga go in there and handle what? that though. Man, he, he make it. Look, we doing the video to Magic Chick. And you know how people that say, say the words to the video so we can make sure, you know, you're not lip singing, right? Man, R. Kelly was, <laughs> he was letting the song say what it was going to say. And then went behind it and said, I need you as the camera person to line it back up. Man, I said that's different. I was like, oh, that's too different. That nigga, wow. boy. The man was saying the words when he heard the words, he'll say it behind it. And tell him line and it all back listen, up. Then say it behind it. And then he tell him line it up. And you And that whole be right on man. point. Mm. 
Mm. Boy, this I already know. That's, I already know. No question about it. And never see nobody like him. It'll never that's be genius. another. It'll never be another. Never see nobody like him. It'll never be another. The no. only verse where I had issues with somebody maybe getting close to beating Pimp C out in a, on a song was R. Kelly. Was R. Kelly on that when he said. It must be the first man to fall in love with a. Oh, okay. Wanna go down on okay. my yeah. hands yeah. and yeah. Yeah. marry yeah. me? Yeah. 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 Boy, yeah. that's a ooh. But, <laughs> you know, but Pimp gonna come up through the cut. Ooh. Pimp no, Pimp can. <laughs> but that's, that's a serious. People don't understand when you listen to music. This yeah. is serious, yeah. bro. Yeah. Pimp C different, man. <laughs> Pimp C different, man. And, 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 and what was so dope about Pimp C that I love, um, he had just got out. You know, I was down in Houston and he was shooting with T.I., I think it was. And um on that front back. Yeah. 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 He was shooting with T.I. And, and um he said, Hey man, I did a feature for somebody, man, and it was a style y'all had. He was like, Man, I had to use that whole you know I built talk. Yeah, yeah. Use that whole I had to use that whole man. I just had to use it. He said, Man, but listen to it. I I got in the car and I listened to it. I was like, I said, Boy, you snap. Yeah, boy. That nigga wild yeah, wasn't Pimp, he? man. Pimp gonna do Pimp and, and 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 see he showed you just believe in yourself. That's hard. That's it. Just man, believe in you. just believe in you, yeah, man. Yeah. That's big. So you and you and Pimp, y'all sit in the car and listen to hell. Yeah, you don't man. even know you stop the show when you say stuff like that. Yeah, we'll man. shut this whole day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> man. <laughs> Man. No, because hey. you got to understand, man, when you hear this dude and the way he was getting around all of those and, and playing, you know, instruments yeah. and just getting around these verses like he was doing, yeah. you don't see nobody just, y'all different, man. The whole, that whole era yeah. is something to be respected and recognized, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That fast style y'all had, though, man. man. That, like, what the hell, man? Man, and, and, and it was crazy because... Uh, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony was yeah, uh, yeah. You know, they was harmonizing the music and things of that nature. But people was like, "How they were is not clear." But they cold. It's cold. I felt like it was just cold. Period. Cold. You know period. Yeah. But when we came through that boy, seven double O P M flying love. Come on, like, man, give it to me. To see Grim chewing on the weed stem, touching on my faux film. Move it to the back. Let me see who peeping this pole pimp. Spring to the phone with a slow limp in a trip. Thou sh with three one two seven six two win. Man, you know, they was like, oh man, man. they peeping the words in <laughs> you. Yeah, man, 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 man. I gotta say it, man. Texas, thank y'all, man. You, oh, hey, man, we loved that, it. That was an embrace. But we, you would oh, rap a lot. Y'all nigga, we had to accept y'all anyway. Yeah, man, that was but a big embrace. Y'all killed man. it anyway. Y'all yeah, deserved man. it, bro. Yeah, that was a big embrace there, man. That that was that was different. What did you think when you heard Mike Jones use that that verse that he said? I smiled because it was like, you know. <laughs> you knew it was a, <laughs> what he say? Let me see what he said. Like do or die. Like do or die. Ooh, yeah, car man. stock ribs keep on spinning, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that mean we in, we we it was it was great to be able to hear somebody say your name. I influenced that person. I influenced that That's person, hard. you know what I'm saying? And um, like a lot of guys that we run across, like 21 Savage one day, he was just, he was playing on uh, Smoking Ride. I was like, I He wanna let you know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of guys, man, come across, man, they, they play the music, man, I, I influenced them. But the one thing, it's one thing to play the music, mm -hmm. but Mike Jones been going through a thing where they been taking that tipping on four foes, mm -hmm. and they remade it by four different people. NLE Chopper, mm -hmm. all of them remade it, but they didn't get rights to it. He been snatching them down, mm -hmm. all of them, and they been into it about that. Wait a minute, why he snatching them down? He man. said because they ain't clearing it, and they don't. Them youngsters saying you hating on us, but it's business too, though. Oh, it's all business. It's business. Y'all got to you got to respect him and go through the right channels and doing yeah, it. You got to get it cleared, man. Yeah, you I, know that. I was gonna say. Yeah, no. If you hear y'all being played, what you go? What you going? Man, let them keep on playing, and then once I put the papers on there, <laughs> I, I heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I knew that. Why they take it down? Yeah, let it build. That's hard, right there. Let it build. Let, let it build. build. Up. Let that whole go all the way crazy. Yeah, that's what yeah. what's, what's his yeah. name did with Glorilla. That's what he did with Glorilla, but that's also you know who got hit like that? Who? 
Pharrell got hit like that. Him and T.I. Yeah. and Robin Thicke. And Robin yeah. Thicke. They got hit right. by Marvin Gaye people. Yeah. They got yeah. $7 million. But they waited. They waited. They waited. T.I. got out the way. I ain't going to do that. I was just rapping. I wasn't in that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, I was straight that out. I remember that. But they got paid. Yeah. yeah. They got paid, yeah, man. It'll go up, man. It'll go. And, yeah, and listen, let it go up. Let it put that paper on there. And it's up. Yeah. And we up together. Yeah. <laughs> it is so. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, you know, like like you we started to talk about your new music, man. Like oh, yeah. the new shop. Yeah, like like what 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 possessed you to say I'm gonna get back in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more. Um and, and it's solo, yeah, right? Yeah, it's solo. B Lo. B Lo <laughs> Uh we had just did an album called The Pass Out. Okay. Right. So and the album, I mean, it's doing wonderful. We got a song on there called uh, Hotel Room that's doing millions of streams. Wow. Um, so after that, b -Lo was like, hey, man, let's do some solo albums. I was like, no, no. He was like, no, let's do some solo albums, man. I said, okay. But once I start something, I'm off to the You business. own it. So now, you know, Squirming with Sharks, it was like every song I started writing, I'm jumping up at five in the morning going into the workout with my trainer coming out of there seven in the seven in the uh a.m i'm in the studio wow you know what i'm saying so these songs is coming to me now clear mind mm -hmm. clear the whole nine. so man I, I wrote eight songs listen to them i said yeah let's go twister jumped on two of them That's i had this young guy named Daryl woods man he's singing on them off to the races we go Man, and you feel good about just Man. how was it doing it by yourself? I know when I talked to Bun, he told me about uh, you know, just it's a different case scenario where a pimp ain't never coming back mm -hmm. versus doing him by himself when he knew you know he was coming back when he was getting out of prison. Mm -hmm. Like, like how was it just for you, even on a lighter level, just working in the studio, you know, by yourself and doing it by yourself? Was it cool? Yeah, it was uh, different. It was uh, my mindset is different. I'm more like a, I, I act like the whole group is still in the studio. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get <laughs> it. I'm writing. So when I'm writing a song, I feel like I'm writing for Do or Die, not AK of Do or Die. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I feel like I'm doing a Do or Die song. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I was writing. And um, every time a song come out, I'll shoot it over, twist and listen to this, tell me what you think. Twist, that shit go hard. Okay, cool. When I gave it to Chico Bean last night, I said, look it up. He looked it up, he said, he hit me back on the text and said, he said, man, this song you got on here, uh, it's called Roll Up. Yeah. He was like, that shit hard, man. I'm like, there you go. That's there hard. Go. Yeah, so, so the- Confirmation. Yes, sir. Always. Wow. Yeah, confirmation uh, come from self first, God, self, and then other people. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard, yeah. man. You should be proud of yourself, man, you know, just to be able to, connect with people, you know, at this stage. A lot of people get off and they can't get back home. Man. You know that. Man, it's uh it's called knowing your place. Yeah. Like, um being humble and and um just knowing what you what who you are and what you're worth. Yeah. 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 So when you know who you are, you can walk into any room. Man, you know, when I came up here I like to say I'm here for Larry Hoover uh Junior's birthday, he mm -hmm. he asked me to come up, mm -hmm. and I came up, and we've been we we've been kicking it, man, for the last three days. Ever since his birthday, I've been here kicking it with him, yeah. and you know it's bittersweet because mm -hmm. of uh, Larry Hoover being locked up for fifty mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. I think about both scenarios. Yes, sir. Um, you know, just over the years, what are your thoughts on just his dad and being freed? You know, well, when you're that powerful. People want to take you out of position. Uh, but if the shoe was on the other foot, wouldn't you want uh, your family member to be able to embrace their children? You know, so a lot of this is, is built on what we don't want to see. Because mm. when you, once again, when you're that powerful uh, and you can uh, say, hey, Look, you guys need to go read books. And people begin to read books. Who want that? Wow. Especially not people who oppose the people who read those books and they don't look like them. Man, that, that, that's a changer when you can actually express that to mm -hmm. not just the older, but the younger. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And literacy is everything because that's where you gain knowledge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I just, like I said, I, man, you know, when I sit back and I think about just, you know, the whole movement of Chicago, man, and them going, you know, trying to push the growth and development, you know, getting away from all of the, the hoorah and yeah, all that. Man. You know, it's just, it's a different, you know, it's a different time, man. Um, and a, a 21 or 25 year old Larry Hoover versus a 71 or 72. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop come it. Come on, man. Stop. But you know what? <laughs> I say for what it is, like, come on, motherfucker. Yeah. You can't do that and don't expect anything back. Yeah, that's real. That's real. You can't do that. Yeah. And don't expect it may not happen to right yeah we, yeah but you know you got family it's going it's coming yeah it's coming you, you it's know? coming so somebody have to somebody have to be accountable for that that's right what well, read you read what you sow you read what you sow right so them sowing like they sowing yeah. and doing this yeah, to his family on, and doing them like that like come it's on. gonna have to be somewhere down yeah. the line you're gonna pay for yeah. it because the man up above come on man he ain't gonna let you ride god, like god that no, god don't let none of that ride see y'all know all that's real. Yeah. See y'all know all. He ain't gonna let the all. You can't let that ride. Y'all know real. what y'all doing. That's so real, man. Yeah. It's because you know uh, the things that have happened. If you did, that's just like telling a person we don't forgive you. Wow. That's that's what they saying. We don't forgive you. Basically. You know, and 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 if the man forgave himself and want to change, so why y'all can't do why it? Why y'all can't do it? Y'all, that means y'all mindset is not really for the people. Because y'all say y'all for the people. And y'all the powers that be, right? That's real. So that means that at the end of the day, what y'all say on a uh, book, paper, whatever y'all write it on, and I'm standing by this, and y'all still don't want to let me out. Man. I'm telling y'all I'm going to change, man. Then I wouldn't accept it. Because it's... It's not about what's really being said on this paper. If That's you don't want to accept it. It's not bigger gonna, than that. Yeah, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Because think about it. It's been many people let go of, out of prison. A, a lot of them, and some of them with worse cases than he is. Yes. Yes. So why is this case so, you know, held bound? Like, why are y'all holding on to this case like that? Don't make sense, man. Yeah. And they and they they want it not to make sense. Don't, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. You 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 you've been seeing the movement of like the podcast and the interviewers and you know all of the different people from whether it be me or uh, Wallow and Gilly or whether it be Vlad or all this. What do you what do you take? Because you come from a different era where you seen this when it was just you got to go to the radio station, mm -hmm. you know, and you pretty much was held to a press run that kind of put you in uh, different places, uh, maybe an in store sometime or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. but to see how it's how it's transitioning now, what do you think about the way it's being done up to the day? The, to the, in today's time, yeah, it's different. Everybody get a chance to have a voice now. Everybody get a chance to have a voice now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now it's the time to where everybody's supposed to connect mm -hmm. and be become as one voice compared to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's great to have everybody have a voice, things of that nature, but when we can bring it together and have one voice mm -hmm. and everybody's saying the same thing on the same page, a lot of things can change, man. Mr. Servon told me when he sat down with me in New Orleans, he said, uh, it's different because now y'all are our BET, y'all are our World yes. Six in Parks. Yes. He say black media is to where we can tell our own story to our people yeah. from our own perspective. Yeah. yeah. Which is powerful. Yeah, it's very powerful because that was the part they they was that was the part they wanted to take from us again. You know what I'm saying? Not to be able to speak. Yeah. Um now here they you know here go the world of internet the world of social media everybody can speak now mm. you know everybody can speak now now what you say can be held against you oh man you see it don't you, you see it? <laughs> some niggas struggling yeah. with this man, yeah, man. You know everybody ain't just doing it the right yeah. way what the yeah. hell i didn't say that or yeah. i said that and i didn't mean yeah. i remember when i interviewed ice t he was like 
I ain't gonna say nothing about Pac because last time I said something about Pac, it was like not I what I meant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was not meant. It was taken the wrong way. So you have to be careful on what, what you speak yeah. on yeah. and how you speak on it. Yeah. Because a clip can be taken and spiraled yeah. so many yeah. different ways. Yeah. yeah. So many different ways. And I I won't say, but it's some I see things sometimes I'll be like frustrated. Like if you like we edit this stuff, we know this stuff gonna cause certain impacts when you get good at it and some things people put out I would never put out. Yeah. If I know it's gonna affect somebody or yeah. could, could cause harm to somebody mm -hmm. that's either incarcerated or somebody who's lost a loved one, uh, if I, I purposely I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. But some people would just for the clicks. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And people don't do their research, though, because just like how you see clips of certain things, you know it came from somewhere. So go to that page and watch the full interview. Mm -hmm. Get a full understanding instead of seeing that one-minute clip mm -hmm. and get your own, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they start opinion. reading comments. They say this, 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 this. But if you got the full picture, then... I'll give you one better than that. And even the AI is using, they're using AI a lot now mm -hmm. too. That's even more scary because now they got somebody mm -hmm. over narrating something and it sounds real professional. Right. And it sounds like it could be the truth when it's totally not even a true right, right. thing. Right. Um, you, you, you've right. seen this. Right. I know yeah. you're like, yeah. damn, this is, did yeah. I do that? Nigga? Right <laughs> did I, I don't think yeah. I did yeah. that. I like that. They exactly. put you in certain places. Oh, man, listen. They K put you in certain places and it really wasn't you and it looks so real. Yeah. KL, I had KLC on my show, man, and he said something about Something about his contract, if he had it to do over again, it was very light. It wasn't even a bad way that he said it. It was very, it was just a conversation. It wasn't no ill will meant. Man, somebody took my clip off of my page and took it and went and took, took him talking over there and said a few things and then let him say just mm. something and boom. Off to the races. Huh? Off to the races. It went up to about four or five hundred thousand views, and it it ticked some people off. I heard I got phone calls about it. And I was like, I ain't even. It ain't even nothing that he even said. Right. And it was just like, damn man, like you got to be careful. People to do anything, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. They, they, uh, this is time of trial and error. You don't want none of it. You don't want none of it. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want no trial and error because you know these man people. Uh, it's more devious now, you know, than ever. You know, mm -hmm. it's just more, just you know, more. It feel like more evil times than ever now, because uh, people get a chance to express themselves on a camera, and it can go any way. It can go any way. Yeah. Or wow. people moving off of emotion and be mad. Can you see those people? They heard something, and then all of a sudden they head to social media. Da da. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't really mean to. Yeah. But what happened, and the thing that gets me is some of these people are older people mm -hmm. who know the difference between just picking up the phone and calling somebody, mm -hmm. resolving it mm -hmm. away from social media rather than going social media and blasting the person. Why are you doing it this way? Because if you if you seen people, majority of your life, in front of a camera and a camera do something to you, right? and you ain't never had that attention on you before, this is a great time for me to get some attention. Wow, wow. This is a great time. Hey, no Charlie, woo woo woo, right? <laughs> buddy, woo woo woo, it's said we get to it. Yeah, buddy, da 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 da, and he's a snitch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. What we doing? We, y'all done lost total control. Nah, and then it comes back to you said, man, I didn't see all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, you to put it out there now, and that's yeah. what that's what it is, man. A lot of people getting this type of power never had it before. So when it, you know that attention is, it's, man, yeah, it's, it's a, we it's talked drug, about it. It's man. a drug. It's a drug. It's, it's a, a drug, drug man. man. I think like like when I when I look back and and I look at the city, man. You guys up here, it's a totally different ball game, man. But you guys are so influential that I remember bigging them. Biggie sampled something and, or did something that was kind of close to something y'all had done. Yeah. What was that all about? Let's talk about that. That was a... R.I.P. to Biggie. Yeah, Biggie, man. Biggie, one of the, the cats uh, came before us. We standing on his shoulders. Uh, one, one of the crazy parts of it is, is that uh, <laughs> Mace said, man, they're going to be mad at me. He spelled Bentley, B-E-N-T-L-E-Y. I said, wait a minute, rewind that. Ooh. So... Uh, and when Biggie said, I'm in danger us. Ain't too many of them hang with us. Label up. Listen to the rhyme scheme. 
Seven double O P M, flying love to them in a B M, sipping C Grim, uh, in dangerous, hang with us. They know Angel Dust, so listen to the rhyme scheme. And if you listen, it's a three scheme rhyme scheme, and that's what that's what Chicago brought to the table. We was th- we was rhyming with three words, two words instead of just one. He used your style. It was a, that was that was the style that was so, that was so dope. Oh, to, in dangerous. Yes. Now do that other part again. <laughs> So it's seven double O P M flying love to the moon. It's in a B M sipping C Grim, chewing okay. on a wee stem, touching on my foe. Fi- All that was rhyme Got scheme. It. Double, Got it. Double rhyme scheme. I'm in dangerous. Can't too many of them hang with us. Dun, 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 dun. That's the style, man. <laughs> so he didn't, it. But it, did he hear it? It, it, it was y'all. What, what, how did he end up? Was it some y'all was it working together? Or? No. So so here. Um, now, I don't, I, don't, I don't like saying hearsay, but I remember uh, when we was talking to Kanye. Okay. Uh, Ye was uh, trying to get in tune with us because um, Biggie, he said Biggie wanted to do a song. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure, man, Pope Pim was one, one of the biggest, and this let me know Pope Pim was one of the biggest songs in hip hop was because we was, we was in New York Fam, we was in New York. And you know and, New and, York. Yeah, and BET, you know, we doing the BET thing, but niggas walking past like this. Oh, these niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, how they that's New York. York. That's New York. <laughs> these niggas, man. That's how they do it. But it, it, but it was funny. I love to, them. It was funny to us because, you no, know, as, as as young guys in the hip hop game, we kept, we kept putting that pressure on them. Like, fuck it. Like, fuck it. Let's put pressure on this shit then. Yeah. You know, we, we know who we with. No, we know we know what we we riding for. You know what I'm saying? So you, not, not, none of this, this shit y'all just screw my lane. None of this y'all doing right now is, is not you know messing with our self esteem. Period. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? But but it was a, it was a time when it you know like I said I, I'm a old school rap right. type nigga now. Right, you know right, right. when it was D Nice and uh, uh, Bo- Boogie Down Production oh, and that, oh, and, and, and Eric B and Rakim oh, and, and, and now. Now this because it wasn't nothing else competing with that. No, you 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 didn't have nothing and that's all we done. We wasn't trying to hear Fat Boys even was making noise. Yeah. Run DMC, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 all of these boys even. Even them boys uh, was, up hip hop. Come on, man! These, these uh, Big Daddy Kane, yeah. uh, the Vapors, yeah. Biz Marquis. Biz This, Marquee, this yeah. was the era, man. These are phases, bro. Yeah. But then that phase hit in the Midwest. That phase hit in the South. It hit in the West first. Yeah. After it left, that gangster yeah. music, they man. He's eating them turned up. Yeah, they went straight up. Yeah, yeah. They <laughs> and too short. Don't nobody give too short enough credit. Stop playing, y'all. Know hey. when Freaky Tales came out, oh, eighty seven. Oh man. He took it to another 88, level. 89. You yeah. know already what yeah. time it was. Yeah, shut. And we can't forget E-42, but, but oh, Shout man. Dog, man. Man. I was a Shout Dog fan, yeah. bro. Yeah, Short had, man. You talking about speakers way? <laughs> man, some speakers blowing out the car. Doom. Man, come on, man. man. That, that's why we, that van got right when you yeah, put that, yeah. that <laughs> drop in there. That 808. They said they heard you coming before you got there. Man, come on, so. I get it. That was that phase. But then when you talking about when you get to New York, it's shifting. Yeah, because it's shifting because now the South, because you got to remember, Jay, Jay Princeton went down to New York and stayed down there for some months. Yeah, I remember him saying that. And um, they didn't take a liking to what was going on. And Jason, man, let me go back down here to uh, my city, man, and do it for my city. And here they come with man playing tricks on me. Killed them. And killed them. You know what I'm saying? And that just lets you know you don't have to go anywhere. All you have to do is focus and refocus again when you on you know on what you really want. Yeah. Once you focus and you believe in yourself, everything else is a plus. Did y'all ever perform in New York and stuff? Nope. <laughs> we ain't never performed other than, <laughs> other than BET and all that. We ain't never perform in New York. You, you pick it up, baby. My fault. It's all right. Um, uh, we did uh <laughs> <laughs> That boy would not want to hear that stuff hey, up there. Man. We did uh uh what's that called? Um the hip hop award with Jay Prince, a uh Jay Prince, Jermaine Dupree, we did that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Came out on that and that was big too, man, because that was for the South and it was just crazy, man, how uh the South was being represented that way, man. And I was I was like, Yeah, we're a part of this. We actually a part of the hip hop world for the South. 
And that, that just hard. made it dope for me, man. Like, man, we could we get a chance to represent two cities at one time. And we loved it. We man, loved it. Y'all gave us so much, man. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you, man. Like, like I had these big arguments about Jay and Scarface mm. and who, you know, everybody talk about these rhyme schemes, man. And I tell anybody, like, man, going in that booth with Face is another level, bro. Yeah. You know, I just feel go in here and tell my, oh man. Uh, uh, somebody told me they have these crazy scenarios about people going. I think I mentioned Lil Kiki, and people told, got mad at me at the barbershop. This barbershop talk. He was like, Man, Kiki couldn't even go in the, uh, and I'm gonna say this Kiki couldn't even go in the booth with, it can even be in the studio with him and him. I said, Nigga, y'all crazy. Mm. When a nigga been doing all this to all his life, nigga. Mm. Do you know what's about to happen when this young right. when Kiki go in this damn booth? In the booth, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think gonna happen? Man, look. <laughs> a lot of people think like, you know, the, the the rap world is caught up on lyrics and things of that nature. Man, but it's some people that got charisma and know how to finesse words, man, that make motherfuckers <laughs> be like, oh shit. <laughs> you gonna this the joint right here. Like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga gonna yeah, snap. I done heard, man, if you listen to some of the rap right to, to today, right now. Think about what these young guys saying and really listen to it. You be like, what is they saying? They mm. finessing the and they 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 have some charisma to where they can finesse the words to the point where they're not even saying nothing but the same thing over for two minutes. <laughs> but you going they jamming it. But they jamming you. They and they and they wait, it to yeah, it. Yeah, it's like wait a minute. This is a two minutes two minute song, no more than two two minutes and thirty seconds. Think about it. They said a hook twice, eight bars, and they get out of there. Wow. It's over with. It's over with. Yeah. It ain't but two minutes. They ain't, ain't, ain't giving no. you nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> man, come on, man. Like, 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 man, like Eminem, one of the coldest. Cold as they come. Cold. But what? man, when well, you to my Kiki. Jamming. Man. You to my Kiki, man. <laughs> <laughs> different animal, man. That's, that's, them different animals. <laughs> yeah, them different. But when you tell me he can't go in there, well, I'm like, nigga, you crazy. Oh, no. Nigga, he going in there. Let him, let, let him, no, make it happen then. Put the <laughs> money on the wood, make the bag go good. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all, because it's just, and it's just, man, it's talent, bro. No doubt. People are talented, man. Yeah. And it, hands down, people are talented. I don't yeah. think they get the credit sometimes people deserve. Yeah. And that goes for Eminem, too. Credit, dope, dope. Yeah. What he do, ain't, it's hard can't to, take nothing from you can't take nothing from him. Yeah. But when you come down here and you start calling yourself gonna jam and gonna make it, some people gonna listen to over and over and over, yeah. I can put that little Kiki in that last one he done. Mm -hmm. Cause he know how to, but that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? When he yeah. put it out, he feel a jam. Yeah. He feel a, what I be doing? Well, I can fool in that truck. Yeah. Nigga, we, I'm gonna act a fool. I'm put you on when I didn't there and act a fool. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> but look, bro, it, it be things, it be music like that that help you through your, uh, what they call that, and help you through your lifetime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could put something in, man, and you, you'd be feeling like, oh, man, I really don't want to do, but put that music in. It's going down. You up. It's going down. Man. Man, I don't, like I said, what's your top three artists of all time? This is something we do on the show. Do top three like artists that, of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. That's what we do on Boss Talk 101. So it's a wide give range. Give it up. AK got to give it up. Man, bro, you gonna put me in that. This top three, it may change. You know, I try to get y'all away. I may it change another change. day. But to today, you. who is your top three? It ain't no specific order. Oh, man. One of them, I got to go with Ice Cube. Okay. Ice Cube, we ain't talked about it. You met Ice Cube? Yeah, that's that's that's. Me you got to give me the Ice Cube story. That's yeah. mentor. That's we we got to get so into it. We want to uh, interview him. He has so much information he yeah. can unload. That's mentor there. Um, face. Face. Well, I just mentioned face. And number three? Ooh. Narrow it down. Yeah, that, this, <laughs> this is a big narrow down here, boy. Look, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, Q, Faith. Faith, um, that really inspired me. Mm -hmm. Q, Faith. And, 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 and you know what? I'd I, I be lying if I say he didn't, because he just that cold twister. Twister, mm -hmm. I knew you were going to say it. I felt twister, that. Twister is just unbelievably dope, man. Like, Sitting in the studio with him, yeah, but not being in the studio with him, and you get a verse from him, yeah, and he give you that verse, and then you be like, oh, 
Oh my God! You got to put your head down like two, three mm-hmm. times. You don't even know how he done it. Yeah, how did come up with man. this? It's just it'd be so dope, man. And he'd be saying certain things and verses. You'd be like, "Let me rewind that," because I know that nigga that say that. <laughs> the, so he, man, yeah, T is one of the, yeah, he's one of the cats, man. You can go to and be like, "Listen to this." Man, he gonna tell you the truth. Like he, he not been to hide none of that. None of that. that. He been tell you the flat out truth. But wow. when he come with verses, man, as you can see, is he dope, man? He done on any uh, um uh, a feature, he snapped on it. Wow. Yeah. On any feature twist that have been on, he snapped on it. Oh, you ain't got to tell me. Yeah. That nigga bad, man. Yeah. I, I still waiting on the story, the Ice Cube story. With Ice Cube, Ice, <laughs> um, Ice Cube. We were, I forgot what city we was in. And we was on the show with him and Dr. Dre was, they was doing the day tour at the time. And so, ha- <laughs> bag up. So, not being in the music, well, we weren't in the music industry at the time. And I had a dream, I met Ice Cube. Mm. And when I had the dream that I met Ice Cube, it felt so real in the dream. One day we had a club. We walk into the club. We had just signed with Rap A Lot. The song off, take it, took off. We go into the club. Fat Joe on stage, so we had to go around Fat Joe through the other part and come up. And Fat Joe was taking all the time. Ice Cube in a VIP. As I'm walking up, the dream kicked in. Wow! So I'm looking. Ice Cube got his hand out like this, and I'm looking at Cube like, <laughs> "It's Cube." You know what I'm saying? This is the cat I've been listening to his music, and he was like, "Like, man, check my hand." What the f- so I shook his hand. I was like, "Bro, you are man. I'm a fan of your music." And said a verse. He looked, and it was funny because <laughs> he said, "I'm a fan of your music." I was wow, like, oh, that's dope, bro. Like to come from this to, right. you know, he's saying, "I'm a fan of your music," and you know, we we connected from there. And you know, I was like, "Man, well, um, I definitely want to lock in." Which he was like, "For sure." He did a couple, I think he, he was supposed to get a couple of tracks from the cat tracks who did Pope Pimp. Okay, okay. And, and that didn't happen, but I always stayed in tune with Q. Like, the, like we just did the big three when he came yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He, man, call Buddy and them, tell him, come on, we want them on here. Every and, time, he yeah, gonna rock and out And that was you. dope. And that was dope for us, because, you know, Q could have picked anybody, G Herbal, mm-hmm. you know, all the shorties, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The, the, he said, tell do or die, crucial conflict, all the twists, the, uh, Shana, tell all those to come Shana, on. Shana, man. He all tell all them to come on. So I was like, you know what? So when we walked in, I, I walked in on this verse. Picture a nigga that's raw. Hey. Did a flight to his ass one seat and he hey. just started smiling. <laughs> he was like, I gotta go home and listen to that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, so, you know, that's hard, man. Yeah, yeah, and that was on the uh, grand finale. I was like, what, what made you? <laughs> so I said, I said, what made you say that verse? Like He was like, man, he said, D.O.C. was on that mother. I had to go hard. Ooh. Yeah, because D.O.C. was snapping at that point. Uh-huh. Boy, you better stop playing. Yeah, D.O.C. was you snapping better stop at that point. Hey, man, that boy right there, he been on there. He been on Talk. Yeah, yeah, he been yeah, on DLC, here. Yeah, man. I love bro. DOC. Different man. Love DOC, oh, man. Man, man, that 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 was a. Uh, you got to meet DOC? Nah, nah. You nah, never nah, met him? I never met DOC. But let me man. tell you something, he man. He got the sweetest person. Man, out this here, dude yeah. is the dopest dude, man. He showed us so much love, just like you, man. Yeah. Come in, it's like we known each other forever, man. bro. Like man. just like like we down here just. And that's I don't know, man. God is good, bro. That's all Always. I can say, man. Like Always. you meet good people that look like you, mm-hmm. and we getting along. This is the part they don't talk about. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. the part they don't talk about, yeah. man. Yeah. Doc, you know what I'm saying? He 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 is a, has a litany of talent, man, in writing and everything. I heard stories about him, and you know I I, I got to get him back on the show. And I done told him two or three times. I want to talk to him about him and Ice Cube writing techniques and style. Who yeah. you know what I'm saying? He both they, they, they both, both cold go, with that pen, man. Yeah, that's yeah. Good, man. Ice Cube picture, uh, that man said, picture a nigga that's raw. Then apply to his ass what's seen, what's saw. Motherfucker, I'm smarter. Blow him out the water. Word to me. Fuck the father. My melee is deadly as a pen and a hand grenade. Five seconds before you get sprayed. Ain't no throwing me. I guess they'll blow up. Ever seen a nigga that's scattered to make you throw up? Then I take advantage. You can't manage to get up. All you could do is sit up and get lit up. Here come Ice Cube, tear shit up. Like a dude you could bet on, collide like a ladder on collision. Y'all say, man, Dang. Ice Cube, a Cube beast, a dog, yeah. man. How did he come up with all that wordplay Oh, like man, that? he was something else. But I'm going to tell you, let me say this. I got to say this. You keep talking about Ice Cube, and I keep thinking about Mr. Mike, man, let me tell you something. Oh. That's my nigga, man. He been on Boston. Mike and Mr. Mike, different dog. What? What? 
Niggas don't dog really fight. realize, <laughs> man. Dog in the fight. I, I told you. Different dog don't in the fight. Don't play man. with Mr. Mike, man. Yeah, he loves Mr. Mike. What? Different dog in the fight. Go listen to it. It's still jam right now. Different dog I promise. in the fight. So his wordplay is just as hard? What? Yeah. yeah, different dog in the fight. That nigga bad. It's his just, voice and his uh, tonality, man. I, I, that's what I. Uh, okay, thank you for saying that. <laughs> that's what the culture need to like figure out how to change. If that platform, if 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 that nigga still kicking verses hard as the next artist, let it be. Don't be trying to bring all the way, bring it all the way down, down. and downplay. Yeah. It. Why you gonna downplay people? Who Man, Mr. Mike was hard there? though. Mr. Yeah. Mike, you can't I, take I, nothing I, from I, him. You, can't, elevate. you yeah. cannot take nothing from him. Go you listen can. to it. You can. go listen oh. to it right now. I can put it on. It's going man, look here, man. Man, that nigga there, he he was on man, that nigga was on point, man. Uh uh stop lying, stop water, stop need to start telling it. <laughs> man, he did that on my show. I was like, nigga, I went to, into concert mode, mm. nigga. You're like, oh, what? Yeah. Oh, I was on the way like what? Yeah. It's just like when you start doing that Pope Pippen, man, anytime y'all dope, bro. Man, That's history. Dope. That's why. I love the music, bro. Like, like you can't you can't tell me my people ain't talented, bro. Man, we man. got some talented people, yeah. And ain't nothing, and all of them talented, yeah. You know, some of them we are, we do got some trash out there though. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory, right? But but I don't be really, you know. You got to put the, what you don't need to the side and get what you need. Get what you need, yeah. If you don't eat it, don't play with it, yeah. cause everybody ain't gonna like everything. Hey man, look, you couldn't have said it no better, you know. And and and, and you ain't said nothing wrong. Trash is trash. People gonna eat what they want. And they, they, you know what I'm saying? And they gonna not mess with they, what they don't want. What they don't it want. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, trash, I don't think trash is a bad word. Actually, no. it makes certain people get their game up. Yeah, get yeah, their game up, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ever had and somebody, today, and you ain't gotta say no name, that they wasn't good, but you seen them grow as they kept trying and, and trying and trying and trying and got better? Yeah. I seen that too. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I be proud of them too, cause yeah. you see it, and, and I seen it hit too. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. seen that, hadn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cause you, you know you want it, it, it's crazy because you want to see a person grow that's just about that should be your human nature I want to see a person succeed be successful the, you know the whole nine so that's just human nature right there right but some people been um, and in today's society when um, right now the rap game changed, I've always heard that it's more about the ladies right now the lady female rappers lady this lady that the way how the music is going, I hear a lot of people talking about it's gotten so much worse where it's all about the shock value. Mm -hmm. And when they talk about that, they, they always include like your sexy red. Your, um, and what do you think about the music? Right now. Though. Right now, the way how, especially the females are rapping and what they're rapping about and so forth. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get in on it, but I'm in Texas. <laughs> Man, I, I'm gonna say this. It's different. The culture, uh, hip hop have always brought in something that's shocking, or it made you be like, oh, I don't want that. You no, know, hip hop has always been that. Mm -hmm. And when you hear that type of music, and you and you, and when you, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't know how to answer this. I don't even know how to answer that. I'm, I'm, I'm never speechless, but this one right here is, it's different. It's just different, man. And, and and when you hear it from a woman's perspective too, you be like, uh, what, did she, what did she just say? Did mm -hmm. she just say that? But you gotta also, um, you gotta you have to also put everything in perspective. When NWA came out, they felt like that was too much nigga music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too was short, bad too. Yeah, too short, they, you know, freaking tails. Like, yeah, you didn't hear you nothing know, like that. So they was like. They was like, um, Luke, man, we got. Hey, that. we want some. Yeah, they was like, Lil Kim was terrible too. Nah, but Luke them was for they to all that. Yeah, they was like, we got to yeah. change this up. We're like, but that's just hip hop. I, 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 so let me put it in a nutshell. Hip hop have will always change um, as as it go along. Like the uh, what's her name, Sexy Red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all that going to be a change. I think you know. Um, everybody had a time and place for everything in hip hop, um, so that's 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 just that's the way I could put it. But whew, it's scary, it's scary in hip hop. Man, I'm gonna say this because we're gonna wrap it up, man. Just thank you, man. How can people get a hold of you? 
Um, you can reach me at AK. I'm gonna go. We gonna get that. Know, that, 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 yeah, question, that question. That question. <laughs> yeah, that question. <laughs> yeah, that, that question. I, 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 you see, I laugh. Yeah, yeah you hear me laugh. I say, oh man, man that is yeah, kill, man. That, ooh, <laughs> man, yeah. They, <laughs> I, you can get in tune with me at AK of Do or Die. That's AK Do or Die. Then it's AK Round on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And what name that new album again? So swimming with sharks. AK of Do or Die, Swimming with Sharks. Already. Swimming with Sharks, man. Man, thank you so much, man. We love you, you bro. Love thank you, you so much. Yes, you coming That's to Dallas? Up. Man, you, you gonna come to my spot, my yes, main sir. hub. Hey, what, what what we got going on? I, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna right. get your book. You know, we'll sell book to nigga yeah, we have to. <laughs> Say check it, man. Look, we we can go we can go grab the dough and we, we go you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey niggas put their mamas at the dough. These niggas really <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great yes, segment. Sir. A boss talk one on one with a boss's talk. And we out. You will.